Typically in Crusader Kings 3, you gain power for yourself. But today we start as a vassal in hopes of gaining our liege, the Empire of Britannia. And also I'm going to start streaming a couple times a week. So if you are interested, consider following my Twitch. The link will be in the description. So as you can see, we are starting as a vassal to our brother, Prince Blethyn of Gwynedd. And we need to take him all the way to hold in the Empire of Britannia. Now to do that, we need to make sure he holds at least 75 counties, has 1,000 gold, and of course holds two kingdoms, which is going to be tough because we're going to have to like force a lot of wars, like taking down England and Scotland. And of course, England in a minute could either be ruled by the Norwegians or of course, King William the Conqueror, or I guess not a king just yet, but probably will be a king pretty soon. But my plan, I want to personally hold Ireland. So I'm probably going to move over here and just start warring over here. While hopefully my liege starts some wars and holds all of Wales for himself. There will be two kingdoms then. And that does leave us with a lot of wars against England. But the problem with that, right now he's only a duke. So I cannot make any duchy titles until he's at least a king. So we're going to be stuck as a count for quite some time time and we are feudal so we do actually need claims so we're gonna go ahead and start with that we do only have 665 men we're not married we do have three children though and our son isn't too great but we can hopefully find a nice little alliance with him somewhere no which is you know what fair enough i mean we are just like a small county inside of a small duchy i mean i guess people are not flocking to get an alliance with me kind of sad kind of makes sense but you know what? I don't mind getting an alliance with this guy of Ulster because he only has 537 men. Pretty bad. But he's in Ireland, so he probably will be quite useful to us. And we're not married, but I'm going to be honest. I kind of don't want any more children. So I'm probably just going to marry somebody who's infertile and can maybe just boost our stats a little bit. Okay, she gets me a little alliance. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. And of course, we'll take 75 gold for the troubles of marrying her. And I think I'm going to get another stack of armored footmen. Just one more for now. Oh, actually... Thinking about it, as we are Welsh, we probably should have instead gone with Longbowmen because Longbowmen are really, really powerful. Now, we are Cambrian. It's like another name for Welsh. I'm assuming one of the mods is changing that because I do have quite a few installed. But Longbowmen are very good because they, they, they're pretty powerful anyway. But each era, they get better and better. So Longbowmen are probably going to be the bulk of our army, to be honest, going forward. So yeah, there we go. It's only 66 gold to create another stack of Longbowmen. So we're going to do that as well. And there we go. For 99 gold, we can pick up our first claim. Now, it took so long and it's so expensive because our bishop is so bad. Only seven learning and we're kind of stuck with him for now. But that's fine. We should have no problem problem defeating his armies. Come on, our first war. We got to make sure this is a big win. War declared on liege. Oh, right. So this is our other vassal who is our nephew. For too long, I have suffered the indignities at the hands of Prince Blethyn. I will not stand idly by while our liege abuses his loyal vassals. I urge you to join me in the fight to depose this tyrant. A nephew slain in battle. Oh God, this is going to be a bloodbath for our family because everybody around here is our family. So uh, there's just going to be yeah, people drop in every day. And yeah, just like that, he was taken prisoner. <laughs> and we won our war as well. So we got our first county. And nice, our liege took that land for himself, which is great because I kind of want him to expand a lot more. Oh, I was I, I was like, oh my God, what has he done? Because he got the trait familial kinslayer. So he's murdered someone in his own family, basically. But it's not too bad. It was the guy who stood up to him. Now, I didn't expect him to murder him and execute him, but he's crazy. I didn't think he'd do that, but there we go. Don't stand up to this guy because you'll chop your head off, I guess is, is, is the answer there. Oh, and King William the Conqueror won the battle for England, but did also just die as soon as I clicked on him. So right now, we've got King Robert of England, and I don't know how long he's going to last. I mean, he is English, so that has been formed, the English culture. So, I mean... A lot of his vassals, though, or some of the most powerful ones, are still Anglo-Saxon. So he may be in for some trouble there, which is good. The weaker England are, and the more they fight each other, the better for us. So yeah, right now, we're just going to keep bullying the small, weak people inside of Ireland. And hopefully, we can get powerful enough to take over Munster and stuff. And once we have a lot of land inside of Ireland, our liege actually goes ahead and forms the kingdom title. At least that's what I'm hoping for, because to form any kingdom title, you need two duchies. And... 
he has two duchies. It doesn't need to be two duchies in Ireland. So he should have no problem forming this. We'll see though. Uh, one thing I wish my liege would do, if you look, he has a claim on the Principality of De Haber, but he's just not pushing it. For whatever reason, he's not pushing that claim. If he did that, he could form the Kingdom of Wales, which would then allow me to actually create duchy titles, which would be very, very helpful. But he's just not doing it for whatever reason, even though he has allies with me, Denmark, Dublin, Shropshire. Like, he would destroy De Haber, but no, of course not. Why would he? This is going to be the problem. Just the AI not doing the most obvious thing to do. Please, <laughs> like any player right now would already have De Haber. Like, there's no two ways about it. There's no reason not to. You have an unpressed claim. So on succession, that claim is not going to pass on. So it's just going to be lost forever. Okay, so we just got the nickname, The Cruel. And at first, I was like, I don't understand what I've done to be seen as cruel. But um, right now, our wife just died about a couple months ago. So we instantly married somebody else with high stewardship, right? You know, didn't even mention it. It just didn't matter. So, uh, yeah, maybe that's why. <laughs> oh, right. Well, it turns out King William II of England, uh, my spy master's just been over there trying to see what he can dig up. And it seems along the way, my spy master ended up becoming lovers with the king's sister. As you can see, we have a lover secret on here. Who's the lover? My spy master. <laughs> so, the King of England, your spy master, dared to lead my sister into carnal sin. I demand satisfaction for this slight. So, we can pay him. Uh, I'm not doing that. Although that makes my spy master like me. Oh, but he likes me even more if I just laugh for him, which, um, yeah. That, 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 yeah, I'm not going to punish him for that. <laughs> Oh, and here we are. We just died at 62 years of age. Did not expect to die before our liege. And then again, oh, our liege was the exact same age as us. For some reason, you know, we just looked a little bit older. Ooh, and we can reset perks. And it looks like we can straight away jump into getting sanctioned loopholes, which means we can go ahead and buy claims. Now, a county claim would cost us 250 piety, which is not too bad at all. Well, it turns out Blevin is holding a feast. So we're going to go ahead to that and let's see what kind of things we can pick up along the way. I mean, our chaplain got pneumonia, which I'm going to be honest, I'm not too sad about. He's been so slow and he's charged so much for claims. I, I kind of hope you know, he's gone. A feast to me. So it turns out I was the honorary guest. So um, it's a good thing I actually turned up, isn't it? <laughs> but because of that, we gained a highly esteemed 20% more monthly piety, as well as a nice 150 right there as well. There we go. Not too much happened though, but that's okay. I guess uh, feasts will be a little bit more interesting once, you know, actually hold more land and have more vassals. Right now, I'm kind of his only vassal that matters. The rest are mayors, which... Uh, mayors, they don't really count. Now, let's double check. Our liege should hold seven counties inside of Wales. And he holds two duchies. He just needs now 500 gold. So, if we just chill out a little bit and instead try and make as much money as we can, we should be good to get him 500 gold. He's already at 300 and he's making five per month. So, to be honest, it shouldn't be too long. And, of course, he could get five... Uh, <laughs> just you just spent loads of money. <laughs> Come on, you could, you have a chance now to be a king and you just spend half your money on, I don't even know what, probably building something, I have to assume. I, I'm, I'm trying to make you a king here yeah, and you are literally just not taking it and you just died. Great, yeah. Great timing on that. <laughs> There we go. So we just got a nice blackmail on this guy's lover secret for 50 gold. So we're going to do that. And what we're going to do right now, pause the game, send gift, send gift, send gift. So this guy now has 619 gold. He has two duchies and he definitely holds at least seven counties inside of Wales. So is he going to do the smart thing or is he like going to do a feast or something? Please, please. Yes. Okay, there we go. There we go. Our liege now holds a kingdom title, which means we can go ahead and actually form some duchies, which right now we don't hold any. And of course, as we do have sanctioned loopholes and we have 600 piety, we can buy a claim for an entire duchy now. So I'm going to pick up this duchy claim right for here. And if we go to war, we are about to get a lot of 
land. Of course, hopefully our allies are still up for fighting with us. If not, we may be in some trouble, but winning this could be really, really big for us. So we're going to call them both. I mean, our mighty duke somehow. So somehow we just got the duchy of Powers. Maybe my liege bought it for me. I have to assume that's what happened there. If so, you know what? Paying me back a little bit, even though we did practically pay him 500 gold. But we have Normandy with us. Our other ally is still on his way. We should win this battle, no problem. And the King of England hmm, wants to marry my courtier for some reason. Uh... Sure, I guess. <laughs> but there we go. One of our first battles. We'll head straight for their capital. And our other allies are on the way as well now. So that pretty much leaves them with no chance to win this, which is great. And there we go. 18 months and we have won this war. It seems the leader changed. Yep, the leader died in his sleep uh, at the start of the year. So uh, he's gone. But as you can see now... We now own a massive, massive chunk of Ireland. And for our liege to create the Kingdom of Ireland, he needs to hold eight counties. Currently, we have seven in there. So one more county. And technically, he could create the Kingdom of Ireland. But at that point, it doesn't really help us, to be honest, anyway. Because we can't become a king ourselves until he's an emperor. Oh, and looking at it, the county over here is way more built up. So I think we should probably make this our primary duchy just like that. And once the control is fixed, probably move our capital up into this duchy as well. And what I'm doing, I'm going to grant some land away. I don't really want to give it to my player heir and son because that gives them way more freedom and they could just go and die. So honestly, it's never really a great idea, but we have a knight here. We'll grant our knight this land down here. And I think we also want to get rid of this Dutch over here as well. And then that way we do have two vassals of our own now, but we're not holding so many counties ourselves. So we're not losing so much money and stuff. Oh, and it seems he has vassalized the Hayberth. So he has finally united all of Wales as well. That's a good thing for us. Uh, but uh, we still got a lot of stuff to get. So right now we are going on the very, very long pilgrimage all the way to Canterbury because hopefully this should get us enough piety. There we go. We've already got enough piety now to buy more duchy claims. And hopefully when we're back, we may have over a thousand. So that should mean we can actually unite all of Ireland any second now. <laughs> Look at that. 1,000. 500 so we can buy claim and we'll do ulster and right now he has 57 men so uh he's not gonna be much of a problem for us but right now we are 59 so we've got to be fast if we want to do this we have a truce with ulster so we can also buy a claim on munster as well our army is not great but pretty soon i think once we've united ireland we'll have like an actual base for ourselves where we can build up right and our allies are pretty close let's just march in come on we gotta win this he has just seen the county though but our allies should be you know what we're actually doing quite decent against them we have plus 16 advantage then but yeah with our allies as well absolutely no chance for them but there we go that is now munster for us and of course we do have this vassal who is not gonna like me at all so we need to make sure he's on the council and try and keep him friendly with us i think we'll make him our chancellor our liege 1800 men's not bad but you can see the problem england have almost 6000 so if they want to come into wales they pretty much can no problem so we're gonna finish up here in ireland now and take Ulster. Okay, you know what? Um, I give up. Um, let's get some mangonels. <laughs> I, I think it's time we actually invest. I'm going to get a full stack of them, to be honest. Uh, we desperately need them. So let's do it because I am sick of these slow sieges. Yeah, that's so much easier. And there we go. Just like that, we have taken all of Ireland. So personally, I hold all of Ireland. I was hoping Wales would personally hold all of Wales. And there's not really a way to give this land to my liege. And there it is. So this time we died at 67 years of age. And now we passed on to our son, who is 45, which, yeah, is not great because his son is already 21. So, I mean, that's not ideal at all. All. But all of our land stayed together. This guy? So this guy has Ulster. How did I... He inherited it. How the... Oh my god, there was an election for the title, and that's the one election I forgot to do. Oh my... Because yeah, some of these titles have elections, and I have to vote for my player heir each time. But clearly on that one, I forgot. So that has moved along, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest, because it's still inside of Wales. So that is fine, really. It doesn't really affect us. But this life, whatever's left of it anyway, we are just going to focus on building up our capital duchy. That should give us 
way better income to support an even bigger army then build up these longbowmen and boost these longbowmen as much as we can um right now england are going to war against scotland for this entire duchy up here and odds are they're gonna win so i think that points towards they're probably maybe gonna come for wales next which yeah is not great for us we are in like no place to stand up against england right now but maybe if i keep building up enough and build fast enough we have a chance so the king of england just sent a letter in a few days time my vile cousin-in-law duke griffiard will travel through athlone if you orchestrate an ambush and capture him i will reward you generously 330 gold and i believe i get another 330 gold if i successfully capture him but we do only have a 55 percent chance of that being successful he escaped but we still got the 300 gold so you know what i'll take that that's a success and yeah it turns out england yeah had no problems taking that so i think england might take over the rest of scotland pretty soon oh they do have a claim oh on my uh, vassal's land down here. So maybe England's gonna push that claim at some point. <laughs> that would be trouble. Ooh, and our leech just died and the new ruler is a kid. So that makes me the cultural head, which is good because right now he's seven. So we're not gonna have it for too long. But maybe if we start unlocking something, he may finish it. So I think we should work on battlements. So that means we can upgrade all our castles and hopefully... Once he takes over, he doesn't change from that. Because we desperately need battlements. Because in all our domain, like, we can't upgrade loads because we're just stuck by our castle level. And if we don't hurry up and get it, we're going to fall behind England and that massively. Okay, and a faction just fired. And now our new liege is a five-year-old with cancer. So, uh, Wales is not looking too good right now. All the future is all children. And once again, new liege. These people just constantly fighting. <laughs> and, like, these brothers do not like each other in the slightest. They're all, like, a under 10 and they're constantly at war with each other okay and there we go we died at 61 years of age so 15 years we had there and all i did was build up my capital as you can see most buildings now are level two which is the max we can get them to and what i also did is build up my army we have two now full stacks of longbowmen which remember each era will just get stronger but what we've also done is we have uh, maxed out two level two barracks or militia camps which gives them 40 percent more damage which they're both stationed at right now you can't see that effect it's going to take 12 months just because we're over our domain limit our domain limit only three yeah our guy stewardship is kind of terrible and we actually it turns out have a brother-in-law who owns iceland so you know what we can actually negotiate an alliance with him straight away 3500 men we'll definitely take that because we actually have enough piety to get some claims now right now he'll give me a claim on kent or these guys up in scotland yeah there's loads of wars going on in scotland so i think maybe we pick up that claim for 340 piety and waste no time and get in there because right now i mean we have 3200 men without our allies and we may not even have to call them because 2000 longbowmen is really really powerful uh you know what well actually we'll be safe we may as well call them just in case and now they're out of war they're up to 1000 men so you know what we should have no issues here and i think pretty soon it's just gonna be us and england left in the uk yeah, which still doesn't make me too happy france is currently at war with england for the duchy of normandy and it looks like they're gonna win that so weekend in england is great for us please keep doing that <laughs> there we go so only took two years that time and yeah scotland not looking too good right now now we have got two vassals from this and if we revoke we do get tyranny so instead i am just gonna ransom her away and maybe instead try and just befriend her that may work but yeah our target right now is let's see if we can take down scotland as quick as we can and that will just leave us to fight england which I, I, um, it's not it's not gonna be great but you know what while we have some money let's build another stack of longbowmen because we do have a barracks built up here as well so we can get them stationed in as you can see our main stack of longbowmen right now are doing 62 damage so each era they do eight more damage it seems and then from stationed holding they're getting a 70 percent bonus to their damage so longbowmen they're gonna do bits for us especially when we fight england who's now up to ten thousand. oh and the biggest vassal how has that happened the biggest vassal in england is of our dynasty and he's welsh he inherited it via abdication 
from the Hoist Dynasty. Somehow he got that. So actually, you know what? That's good. But I doubt he's going to like fight or anything. He's probably just going to hold that land. So we're probably going to fight him either way, which isn't great. Oh, and that's really big for us. We just got a duchy claim on all of Albany, which is a big chunk of the remaining Scottish land. Okay, um, slight problem. We have that claim in Scotland, but Scotland has gone ahead and got an alliance with the Holy Roman Empire. And as you can see, the Holy Roman Empire is not somebody we want to be fighting right now with 16,000 men. They would absolutely wipe us and our entire family off the face of the earth with little to no issues. They're making 42 gold per month. Massively more powerful than the Eastern Roman Empire as well. Like, it's not even close. And the emperor right now, he's 69. He has lovers pox. So you'd think maybe he's going to die pretty soon. But of course, he has hold of body. So he could be around for quite some time. Is that what Jihad for Serbia, which is interesting? Because you very, very rarely see Jihad. So right now, there's a crusade for Jerusalem. And a jihad just started. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen both go on at the same time. Like, jihads are extremely rare. So I'm interested to see how that goes. Oh, and my rival, the guy who's of my dynasty, with the biggest duchy inside of England, just tried to kill me. I don't know why we're rivals. He seems to become rivals with absolutely everybody. So um, maybe that's why. Right now, though, we are trying to get a claim on his land. I think maybe. I think we can take down England right now. We have 3,000 longbowmen. That is no joke. I think... On our own, we could maybe take him down. Like we're, we're more powerful than our liege as well. We don't have to worry about him trying anything on us. He just seems to be enjoying the extra tax and levies, just chilling, really. <laughs> oh, and he just died. He was slaying in battle. I didn't even get a chance to have any revenge, really. Okay. Oh, and the ruler of Scotland has died, so they've lost their really scary alliance, uh, which is the perfect chance for us to jump in there. Oh, uh, we need to wait for the crusade to end. It's been going on for ages, and there's actually nothing we can do. Ooh, okay. This is big for us, I guess, because this duchy is now held by a child, which, if we look, gives us a plus 25 to our chance. We can now actually just pay 360 piety and get that claim on England. So I think if we go to war, we can get this duchy up there, which would be nice. I don't think we can get any more until we get more piety, but that does give us a chance now to try a war against England, because I imagine they'll probably go more powerful again pretty soon. And you know what? I'm actually just going to try and go over there and help win the crusade. It's been going on for so long. I think it's probably worth it. I don't know if we're going to make a difference, but it's been stuck on 59%. So obviously they're stuck doing something. So maybe I can go over there and change something. Yeah, we have max battle score, but these guys are just taking forever to siege. So maybe, yeah, I'm just going to start sieging around, try and actually end this. Now we are being attacked by 7,000 men. But look at that. Our longbowman was wiping them out even before our allies got to us. Like, no problem. So let's just rush up here, siege this county, and hopefully put an end to this without too much debt. Because the longer this goes on, the longer it's going to take for us to recover. I wonder, are we only second in war? Oh, someone just fought me. Are we now first in war contribution? No, we're still second. Uh, I feel like I deserve first, but I'm, I'm happy enough for this to just end, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, we're now first. So come on, end it. There we go. Victorious Crusade. So, because of that, our, I believe it was our niece or something like that, now rules Jerusalem. Look at that, a new kingdom. But no, I'm going to go focus back on my realm. And look at that, our payout from all our contribution in the crusade, 900 gold. So once our armies are rebuilt, uh, we got some nice wars to get on with. First one, we'll go for Scotland. They should be a little bit easier for us to win. Uh, they're allied with... The Teutonic Order, who are fairly powerful, but they're fighting their own war. So I think we can probably march in here. How did I, how did you go back to Scotland? Wait, what? Uh, I held this duchy. How has, how has this moved on? I guess inheritance made that go free for me, which uh, is great. Thanks. But just like that, we can raise 5,200 men. And the duchy we're going for is his capital as well. You know what? Let's go test our army out again for the hundredth time. How good are they? Turns out, still very good. But I do want to hurry up before the Teutonic Order come and join. Because once they get here, we could be in some trouble. So let's hope we can siege very fast. Oh, they've arrived, but they've gone for our capital. Uh, that's not ideal. What I'm going to do then... Uh, you know what? Let's just head back and fight them in our own land. That'll give us the best chance of defeating them before they siege it. So we have the defender bonus. No, we're not going to make that. 
Hmm. No, we're going to lose if we fight. Do I have some allies? None of them are that powerful. To be honest, we can call her our wife right there. But I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make. Let's just see. If they come in split up, though. No. Oh, God. The Teutonic Order is going to be our downfall. And we just died. Okay. At 55, are we in prison? Yes. Um, let's try and escape. No, that is such bad luck. Because we were in prison then as the ruler, they instantly won. There's not really much we could do about that. Hmm. I mean, not ideal because uh, that war cost us a lot of gold just to lose. And I imagine... Oh, actually, we still got the claim on England, which is nice. And England ain't too powerful right now. So maybe we have to go for England, who are allied with a duke in Scotland who's not that powerful. That's fine. But you know what? With our army rebuilt, let's give it a go. Let's try England. We shouldn't have any other powerful people marching in to ruin our day. So we might have slightly better luck with England. Okay, there's their army. So this is going to be our test. I mean, it's saying I will win decisively. So you know what? I'll take it. Taking down England's armies, finally. Uh, yeah. And... We captured their leader, gained 174 fame, and killed 1,500 of them. So that's also going to weaken them now in their other wars because they are facing a liberty war and the fourth time France is trying to get Normandy. And the Pope, I was going to make a claim on York, but the Pope wants to give me a claim on it. Or we could go for Lancaster. I think York's the better choice there. I guess once again, yeah, because it's ruled by a child. I will do that and let's hope nothing too major happens to York and we can run in there and get York because the longer we leave it, I think England's power is going to start going up. But if we take a look at it right now, Wales is finally the most powerful person in the empire. Or I guess the hopefully soon to be empire. And it's mad to see how far our dynasty's gone. Munster, us... Ulster, of course, Wales, and then we have York, Mercia. Like, our dynasty is pretty much everywhere right now. <laughs> and we're soon going to become well-known, which I think we deserve a little bit more. But I like this because we're basically controlling the entire kingdom. I mean, let's be honest. We we run Wales right now, <laughs> but we still got to keep all the benefits. Although I'm a bit worried. He hasn't formed the Kingdom of Ireland yet, but he has been over 500 gold quite a few times. So unless he forms the, uh, the Kingdom of Ireland at some point, he'll never make an empire title, which is um, not great for us. Now, my mother at the age of 74 is our liege's marshal. Okay, well, that was weird. I just clicked on the HRE to say, how is this guy still alive? And as you can see, as I clicked on him 10 days ago, he died. And he died of old age at 82. So that should mean... Oh, no, we didn't have the HRE anymore, did they? They had the Teutonic Order, who is um, still very powerful. So, I mean, Scotland is now flipped places with England on the people of who not to mess with. And we can buy a duchy claim on all of Essex, which, hmm, yeah. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do that because that of course controls like London and everything like that So that is like England's big power base right there and if we can take that I mean England's pretty done for and our truce ends in six months. Oh, we can push both? Have we unlocked that already? Yeah, never mind. I thought, hmm, I thought Chronicle Writing was in the high medieval where you can push multiple claims in a single war. Oh, I did not realize we had that already. Hmm. I'm forcing my children, all of them, into a learning education. And we could use that to take an entire kingdom in one go, basically. Is there any way we can get more claims? He would have set, but we don't have piety. Hmm. Okay, maybe we could go on a pilgrimage. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go on a quick pilgrimage. And of course, ooh, it's very expensive. Maybe we can make it cheaper. Oh yeah, it's not too bad because we're going quite close. So 144 gold. And we will get some mercenary guards. And let's go. We've got to do this quick though before she grows up, which I think maybe in one year. Oh, she's not a child anymore, is she? But she's a woman, so that's plus 15. And he doesn't really like her because she has sinful traits. Okay, so we may still be able to do this if we're quick. Come on, anything for piety, please. This is going to be close. It's only plus two right now. All he has to do is slightly like her more. There we go, by claim. So we may as well finish the pilgrimage, I guess. And it doesn't seem like there's any more... Oh, there's a woman ruler. Will you give me a claim on her land? No. Okay, that's not great. You'll give me a claim on the Duchy of Lancaster, though we may as well pick that one up as well. And I think it is time we do look for some alliances because we have to make sure we win this war. Like, this is the most important war we'll ever have, probably. Right. They're not looking too good right now. And look how much of England we can now take in a single war. Pretty much all of it. 
I'm going to call all my allies, all of them that will join. I don't care if it's going to put me in major prestige debt because the most important thing here is just winning. Okay, they didn't win their last Normandy war somehow. So there's now the fifth French de jure war for the Duchy of Normandy. How did they lose that last one? I don't understand how they keep losing. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. It's causing them to keep going to war more, which is great for us, especially right now. Okay, I'm starting to think I maybe got a little bit excited inviting all my allies because um, kind of nothing things happening. <laughs> that was a massive waste of prestige. You know what? Let's just go for their capital. We're going to take some attrition, but you know what? Oh, well. Oh, and England's men actually just defeated one of our allies' armies. I'm going to hold out on this siege, though. Maybe we'll capture their ruler. Oh, actually, hmm, they're leading their own armies. So our best bet... Oh, God, this attrition's not great, but we could capture him if we defeat his armies. And the fact he's running is a great sign. Quick, quick, save our allies. Oh, not quite. <laughs> there we go. We actually caught him. <laughs> So, look at that for a single war. Like, that is huge. Ooh, problem I didn't consider. Oh, no. We've now reached overextension. When you have more than 30 counties in your realm as a duke, you suffer an overextension penalty, reducing your tax income. Right. Ooh, I, I know what I can do. So, what I can do do is do i hold i don't hold any of this only london and that which i am keeping london because that could probably make a nice capital i'm gonna grant these two counties over here to this guy i'm gonna upgrade him to a do but before i do that what we can do is oh no i can't oh I was going to grant him some vassals, but if I make him a duke, he's going to go independent. Hmm. Oh, of course. What I can do is grant him vassals. Now, I got to be careful who I grant him because they could cause him some issues. But I think, yeah, I'm going to have to just straight up grant my liege vassals. I completely forgot I could do that. So he can have Lincolnshire and he can have these people above as well. I don't want to give him too many in one go because if they rebel against him, it could cause some trouble. But there we go. So I'm no longer overextended. So I'm not getting that massive debuff to my income. Like losing 35% is way too much. You want to grant me a vassal? Um, I did just grant her to you. So, um, nah, you can keep her. <laughs> He's trying to grant them all back. No. <laughs> no. I I'm not taking them back. You can keep asking. Like, they're your problem now. He's not happy with that. No, I do not want them. I still do not want them. How many is he going to ask for? <laughs> Oh my god, look. They're your problem now, not mine. I just made you more powerful than you can ever imagine. You can you can keep some extra vassals for me. Now, it's hard to see how many counties our liege actually holds because to form Britannia, you need to have at least 75. Now, in our realm, we hold 22. <laughs> look at him, he's still trying to give them all back to me. This is just going to be a thing now, isn't it? But I don't know how to see how big his realm is, or if there's even a way. Oh, and look at that. England did finally lose Normandy, but they held on to that for almost 100 years, so they did not do bad. This is not getting annoying at all. He is desperate for me to have them. <laughs> Just keep them. I, I don't want them. Right, my health is feeling poor right now, but any second, we should unlock sanctioned loopholes. So let's hope nothing... Shut up. As I was saying that, England just exploded. And now my liege has the kingdom of England? So he usurped his title, which, great. I could have literally gone all of that in one war. I guess instead, we could maybe look up towards Scotland. Once we get sanctioned loopholes, which should be any second. We have a nice chunk of prestige as well. So, how many duchies are there? There's five in total. We're just not going to be able to buy them all, I don't think. But we'll buy as many as we can. Oh, actually, if we look, yes, we can go to war against Scotland and take everything. Now, I was saying they have 12,000 men, but 8,000 of their strength is my liege. And my liege is not going to join in on their side. So I'm going to take the fame penalty. Go disgraced. I am absolutely fine with that. Let's see how our army absolutely just demolishes them. Look at that. We killed 1,800. Now, we're not killing loads of them because I believe pursuit is the main thing for killing them. And yeah, long woman, they don't have a lot of pursuit, but they're pretty pretty cheap and they do a nice bit of damage especially when setting like holdings that boost them and what i'm gonna do the leader is in the army so i guess sieging the capital's not as beneficial so you know what we're just gonna start sieging random counties and try and take scotland out as quick as we can but we'll go for as many battles as we can in hopes of just taking down their army although it seems for some reason 
His kid was here. I don't know why his kid would have been here. Oh, this ruler was his guardian. So he was actually in this court over here. So he got his heir, actually. So that's great. 81%. Go on, capture the leader. There we go. 100 on that. And if we look now, Scotland, <laughs> we might have enough. Oh, he's vassalized Kent. So I think our liege now actually has enough counties to form Britannia. He needs a thousand gold. So let's... Will he have enough? He's got to have enough counties now, isn't he? I don't feel like counting, but I don't want to grant him the money if it's not enough. And you know what? We're just going to give him a thousand gold. See if he does it. Well, we'll give him a bit over. Come on. Become an emperor. Do it. Please. There we go. Britannia. <laughs> that took... How many years was that? 107 years. But finally, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought our leads just wouldn't form the titles. But we managed to form Britannia while being a vassal. <laughs> and we can go ahead and create the Kingdom of Ireland. So we can even become a king ourselves. Now, we give away loads of land in Scotland and England. So we can't become the kings of them. But just like that, we have formed Britannia for our lead. And he's still trying to grant me vassals. But... Thinking about it, if you do want to see me continue this on, maybe next we could go and take like all of Europe while being a vassal. If that's something you want to see, please let me know in the comments. But thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.